Hi, welcome back to the Spirits Path. This is Dee, and today's Wildwood Tarot card of the day is the Two of Vessels and Attraction. And, um, you know, what catches my eye on this card right off the bat is the flaming heart right in the middle. And uh, usually when I see um, something on that nature, the flaming heart, um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, action that must be taken. Okay, so... Um, as this is between the, the two, uh, the stag and the deer, as they're holding their hands out, um, you know, this is telling me that it's a, it's a universal spirit that's coming down and bringing two people together. And what I really like about this card is that, you know, as they hold their lower hands, they're actually filling those two cups up with energy. And that's a symbol of, of, of unity and two people coming together with one common goal, one common cause. All right. And, you know, they have the like energy and, you know, what they're going to do is they're going to share that. Okay. Now, yesterday we talked about the seven of vessels in mourning and how those vessels were empty. And we need to let go of what is not serving us. Okay and you know move on you know into something different and i talked yesterday about you know filling those cups up and surprise and lo and behold the two of vessels comes up and what is it doing it's filling the cups up of these two people so even though this is uh you know vessels has to do with emotions and psychic ability um you know i look at this card after yesterday's card, and I say to myself, okay, there's attraction there. So what, what have you let go within the last 24, 48 hours, okay, after you've talked to your spiritual advisors, that king of stones, that page of stones, and the, um, the knight of arrows? You know, all three of those cards came together to, you know, let's get some advice on something. And then, you know, that maybe that advice was to let something go. All right. Now you have the opportunity to attract, okay, something new into your life. That's how I'm looking at it. And this is something that's divinely guided. I mean, even, even the rays of sun is lit up between the two of them, okay? Um, now, you know, if it's a job situation, maybe you're ready to let go of, of the, you know, the crap that's going on, okay? Maybe you're not happy with what's happening, you don't like what you're seeing, um, you know, and it's just, okay, you know what? Now it's, now it's time. Now it's time to, you know, let that stuff go because the universe has got that attraction out there and is going to track something better for you that is going to provide more stability. Um, and, you know, that could be financial stability. It could make you even more happier. In a relationship, you know, that could be, you know what? I'm, I'm done of being unhappy in my current relationship. I need to make that change. Okay, so by letting go of, you know, what's happened in the past, and there may be a grieving period around all that, but now you're attracting, okay, new mates to come in to your life, new friendships, new relationships that could give you a better opportunity to grow and move you on your spiritual path or your spiritual journey. Um, you know, that could be relationships in a work situation. That could be a relationships in a family situation, social situation. Um, something along those lines where something in the past doesn't serve you anymore. That's what yesterday's message was all about. Um, a good example um, for me was, you know, when I first came out into the sales field for manufacturing and I moved out to uh, the community I'm in, I met a lot of good people. <coughs> excuse me and a lot of the a lot of the good people that I met were in a restaurant at a bar situation now I was staying in a hotel all the time so um, you know meals I went over there for dinners and lunches and spent a lot of time over there and met a lot of a lot of friends and got to know some people uh, you know made new friends in a process and then I went on vacation I went to Hawaii and when I came, you know, I did some thinking out there. I was, I think I did, uh, did a quest while I was out there. And when I came back, I started looking at my finances. 
started to see where I'm at. Had just bought a house, um, just you know, picked up a you know a, a new vehicle, um, you know, in a new job, and you know, had some financial difficulty at the start. And I started looking at what was going on, and I asked myself in this seven of vessels moment this morning, what is not serving you well? And it's the way I was spending my finances. You know, I had food at the house I could cook, you know, once I bought the house and got things taken care of, you know, so I started eating in more. All right. Instead of going to the bar every night and watching, you know, sports games, you know, I decided to watch them on my computer at home. All right. So what I ended up doing was I separated myself from that social activity, spending time with them. And I got called out by the, by some of the people that were there. And, um, you know, they didn't like the fact that I wasn't up at, at the restaurant or the bar anymore. And I told them, I said, you know what? I'm just saving money. You know, um, there's going to be a few times when I go up there, but, you know, I wanted to save money because I had some things I wanted to take care of. <coughs> but that wasn't serving me well. All right. And as a result of that, some people got upset with me and decided they no longer wanted to have a relationship. And I was fine by that because, you know what, I, I've always had that thought process of um, the people you hang around is more, most likely what you're going to become. And I didn't want to be sitting at that bar every night, you know, and spending, you know, dollars upon dollars upon dollars. All right. It was better that I save that money and use it to have uh, a better gain, you know, spend it on a house, spend it on a nice vacation. You know, I'd rather have moments that I could spend on instead of, you know, helping somebody else's business, you know, move forward. That's kind of how I looked at it. And as a result, you know, my bank account started going up. I wasn't struggling as much. And that was a, that was a very good lesson in my life at that time to show myself that this is all fine and dandy. You can do this every once in a while, but to do it on a, on a nightly basis, this is not healthy. It's not healthy for your finances, not healthy for your physical body as well. So as a result of that, I started to attract different opportunities, different opportunities business-wise, different opportunities relationship-wise, different opportunities social-wise that um, were more healthier for me. I started running started training for a marathon. Um, you know, the financial account started going up. Okay. And business opportunities where I was at, as I was learning and I was growing, you know, I was starting to travel more through work, which was good. So that law of attraction kind of came into my life and said, you know what, this is where your spiritual journey's on. This is where your spiritual journey's at. So continue moving down that path. And that was a valuable lesson at that time, you know, to move forward and to get me to where I'm at now. So, you know, I'm very thankful that when I see this Seven of Vessels come up, this morning card, to let something go. Because I know the universe is going to respond with bringing something back that's even more important. Because once you've let something go, okay, you've created that empty void. And the universe doesn't like empty voids. They like to fill that void with something that's more that's needed more, whether that's more study, more learning, more application, a new person to come in uh, as a relationship, a friend relationship, uh, you know, family relationship, somewhere where you can learn to grow to help you down that spiritual path, that spiritual journey that you're on. So, um, you know, the other pieces of this card is primarily about you know the attraction and the exploration of potential relationships. A friendship uh, kind of talks about opposites attract, um, you know, in igniting that chemistry between two people um, in the subliminal set, uh, messages that you get with, you know, body language um, and, you know, especially pheromones when people start, you know, dating and they say, like, start liking each other. Um, the nonverbal uh, non communication as well stands out with all this. But, uh, you know, that's the primary meaning of this card. But for me, it's just not a relationship or an emotional attraction. To me, this is more of a law of attraction, okay, where um, you asked 
the universe or spirit, you know, for what you want and you start manifesting that attraction. Okay, you're opening yourself up to bring new things in, to learn, to get that knowledge, okay? To get that that law of attraction working where now you're starting to manifest different things moving forward. So I hope that makes sense uh, with you today. Uh, again, today's card is the Two of Vessels and Attraction out of the Wildwood Tarot deck for the uh, tarot card of the day. Uh, this is D for the Spirit's Path. If you got any questions, uh, you know, put them down below in the comment section. Hit that like button for me and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Have a great day, everybody.